Hello everyone, welcome back to Nuclear Throne and I just decided to bring this game back to my channel because Prison Architect series has ended and I just like Nuclear Throne. So let's do some casual runs as planned this time. I have the Golden Shotgun which I find is pretty good for the early game. Machine gun, sure, why not. This game, like if you if you've seen me play the game before, you would know that. If you haven't, then I'll come straight out of it. I'm gonna take this instead of the machine gun. I'm gonna keep the golden shot, uh, shotgun as my economy weapon. These three are really good. I'm gonna take Strong Spirit. Damn it, too many maggots! two weeks ago or so and like that was the first time I was streaming with Nuclear Throne and you know, obviously I didn't do uh, much better than usual but it was still it was still a fun time to uh, do that again in, in the future. Impact wrists, I like that a lot. What I don't like are these assassins and the snipers. The junkyard is just terrifying. It's full of enemies I don't like. Without rabbit power, it shows that Lucky Shot is actually pretty good. Doing its thing. Oh, yes, it's too good. Ah, okay, I'm gonna shoot the car from the right. I like the spread of the shotgun against the assassins as they move in sort of a zigzag kind of pattern and with the shotgun you just get the spread and you get them anyway. They can be really annoying if you're shooting them with, with a crossbow or something. Something that, has a, that, that shoots in, in a straight line. Because if you're like, okay, this is an accurate shot and then you just move it out of the way. Red pick up. Got it. Ah, there's too much going on. Okay, one more. 
gonna take over the golden shotgun and scare your face, I guess. I saw that there's a mimic over here. Give me some health, which is good. Grenade, la grenade rifle is tempting actually because because it can output a lot of damage, but it can also blow me up. Just one shot that crystal with the grenade rifle, and that's awesome. Just didn't notice. I should also utilize my scenario a little bit more, I guess. And these guys, for example. Bazooka! <laughs> Yeah, sure, let's go all out on the on the explosive weapons. No, but the bazooka is is a whole different chapter. The um the grenade rifle is actually a little bit less scary because it has smaller explosions and it fires in a straight line. Uh bazooka also fires in the straight line but the explosion radius is rather big. So you can hurt yourself rather easily with it. Objectively speaking, I should probably take it over the grenade rifle. And oh, I'm just gonna stick with what I got. for it. Just so I have a second weapon there that I can use. I don't like this as much as as the golden shotgun though.
The screwdriver would allow me to take another golden weapon, but I'm honestly pretty happy with the, with the golden shotgun. It's doing good work. I mean, it is a starting weapon, and for the for the first couple of levels, it is actually really good, in my opinion. did get to level 4 already on this level and we are gonna get our third mutation at the end of it so shovel I think in this case I'm gonna take it the shot is good He shot right in my face. Doesn't matter that I have this scarier face. He just shot it anyway. What a funny joke. That's awesome. Hopefully, not a good meditation here. Uh, no, not really. Open mind, I guess. This is a mutation that people rarely take. Just because most of the time you get offered something a lot better. Not to say open mind is useless or anything. It's just that. It's just that it can be it can be cool if it gives you like one more rat canister on the level. But if it's like present chest or a first chest then you're probably not gonna be much into that. This time we did get two rat canisters, but I think I missed one because I was busy up there. Fighting for my life. Shotgun shortness is actually quite good here on the sewers with the with the golden shotgun. Or just in general with the golden shotgun. Oh no. I walked the way Okay, he just he just fired so fast. He's got the fastest reaction times of all time. Okay, so we start a new. Let me go. 
sure. That was a tight dodge, but I mean it worked. Accidentally. Not not because I'm good or anything, just out of pure luck. Almost level four. You may you may argue that I should have taken the laser pistol. I don't think so right now. Yes, the grenade launcher can blow me up, but it hasn't killed me so far. Like on, on these runs today, anyway. with the grenade left, right, or any explosive weapon for that matter. Toxic launcher I don't want. We just ended the turtle level. Boiling veins, sure. Why not? Toxic launcher again. Trigger finger, so we have to fire rate on this shotgun.
What do we got? Flare gun is... At this point I'm gonna take it over the grenade launcher. And we're gonna take a rabbit paw here for better ammo and health sustain. Flare gun is just less, less risky than a grenade launcher. But I think it does just as much damage. Yo, rabbit paw, where's my medkits? My health pack, so there, there's one. an energy weapon in there and let's see what it was. Laser minigun. Oh, there. How can I possibly say no to a laser minigun? I am taking it in like two seconds. Auto shop, yes. The fact is strong spirit is awesome. Auto shotgun for the little hunter fight. I'm gonna take extra heat to the thing. Being faster helps with dodging. Most of the time at least. Auto shoddy. Just spam it a little bit and everything locks. Shovel uh, I don't want to take right now. Okay. Got reasonable amounts of ammo in my uh the shotgun. God. God damn it! 
I ran around too much. I should have let him drop like right in front of my face, then snare him and go wild with the auto shot, and that's what I should have done. Uh, if I move, if I move as much as I did right there, then he's gonna move quite a lot as well, and that's gonna make him really hard to kill. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the the episode. Leave a like or a comment if you did. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.